I tried to put that somewhere else and now it's just chilling. Great. Lovely. There's a lot to talk about today. Thing one, who knows if you will ever see this video because I got an email this week saying that the monitor that I'm buying for my desktop computer, I have everything else. I don't have the monitor and it was gonna come tomorrow. I got an email over the weekend saying, hey, what's up? Your order's been delayed. It's not gonna be here till June 15th. So that's fun. Chick-fil-A is reopening today. At least my Chick-fil-A is reopening today. We will have guests in the dining room now. And that's gonna be really weird. We're only doing carry out right now. We're not doing dine-in. So it's like half and half, kind of open, kind of not. They can use the bathrooms, but like they can't sit down, but like we'll have to sit down on break, but like we can't hang out anymore as the team members just at the store. So that's weird and we'll take a lot of adjustment and I'm not looking forward to it. Oh, I did school this morning and actually got done what I wanted to get done, which doesn't happen very often. I was proud of that. I had three finance questions that I had to fill out that were like math questions, which, you know, we all know how lovely that is. And they weren't as hard as I thought they were gonna be. And I think I felt like really confident on my answers. So, praise the Lord for that. Wow, I'm rambling, this is fun. This weekend was prom for a lot of people. And I've been seeing pictures on Instagram and Facebook about people doing prom, which is like, you know, cool, glad you had fun. Also a little sad, because I've never been to prom. I was homeschooled and I'm now doing college all online. And so like, I've never had the opportunity to like go to a prom. Like I don't miss it because I never had it and don't care, but I miss the opportunity to actually like dress up for once because I otherwise have no opportunities. I think I can think of one event I've ever been to where I actually dressed up in like formals. Also, buddy, chill. I'm going over the speed limit, all right? You can just chillax back there. Leave me alone. Funny story over the weekend, today's Monday, by the way, and Saturday night, I was supposed to get off work at 8.30, but come eight o'clock, they had me start some cleaning tasks because we're opening on Monday, so they're like, we need to clean the entire store from like top to bottom, so go clean. So I cleaned for like a half hour, and I was like, you know what, y'all, like, there's a, this is a very long cleaning list, and y'all are gonna be here till like 1 a.m. if I don't help you, so I'll just stay and clean, and don't worry about it, as long as you just let me clean, I'll stay as long as I need to. I was supposed to get off at 8.30, walked out the doors of the store at 11.40. I cleaned like windows and doors and all that stuff. And one of the things I had to clean was the bathrooms. So I cleaned the women's bathroom, of course, like did that first. And then I went into the men's bathroom. So I had people check it and I like propped the door open so they all knew I was in there. And I was cleaning that while two of our team members were working in the dining room, like right outside of the bathrooms, cleaning the floors. I was in the stall, like just wiping everything down. And as I'm cleaning in the stall, I think like as I was trying to put the toilet seat down, I like dropped it a little bit. So it kind of made a loud noise. And also the bathrooms echo, like the acoustic sticks are pretty solid so it echoed really loudly and I was like kind of embarrassed like oh dude, uh, that's awkward you know well I hear one of my good friends doing the floors and he goes Emily everything okay in there and I was just like kind of being weird and was like nah I fell in <laughs> And I was just kidding. And if I'd said that to my family, like I was half laughing the way that I just was anyway. If I'd said that to my family, they would have been like, eh, that's funny. He took me seriously. And so he comes and he's like, wait, what? And like comes in the bathroom and is like, oh, I just, oh, I thought you were gonna be like in this really awkward position. And I was like dying laughing so hard. I was like, no, I'm fine. Oh, people's okay, we're stopping now. Wow, please don't hit me. Anyway, to conclude that story, I was totally fine. I was just kidding. He did not know that I was kidding and was very concerned that I'd fallen in the toilet. So <laughs> we established the fact that if that did happen, he'd be willing to pull me out. Um, but praise the Lord, it did not happen on Saturday. Also story time, him and one of our supervisors, um, when we all got off at 1140, because we closed, went out to the parking lot and we share a parking lot with Cheddar's. And so we went out to the Cheddar's parking lot and threw football and frisbee for like over an hour and ended up leaving at 1 a.m. So that was fun. <laughs> okay, hold on y'all, I don't know what's happening. There are ambulances in the intersection. Oh, buddy. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I wonder if like somebody was trying to turn left and got hit. Anyway, thank you for coming along for that episode of Emily Talks About Random Life Occasion Events in uh, her drive to work. But yeah, Saturday night we were out to 1am. We listened to music. 
I brought my Bluetooth speaker and we listened to Scottish music while we were closing the store. It was turned up very loud. It was very fun. And then we listened to Christian music while we were in the parking lot. I put it out in the parking lot and it was so fun. We were literally like the only people in the parking lot. I mean, duh, it was 1 a.m. And it was Cheddar's and Chick-fil-A, so they both closed like at 10 or 11. Highly recommend, if you ever find friends who will stay out with you until 1 a.m. throwing frisbee in a parking lot, do it. You will not regret it, I promise. All right, I gotta go because now it's 10.53 and I gotta get in the store. First day of carry out. We have no idea what we're doing and it's gonna be chaos and I could be serving guests on front counter for the first time in I don't know how long. So I'm gonna go and I will see you all later. Bye.